We've lived in our countryside house for almost five years now and it has been a roller coaster from seemingly endless amounts of soil to dig out from under the floors to our first shower in our own home from getting to enjoy our morning coffee on the porch to our main furnace colliding just before uh, <laughs> the heating uh, season starts. So grab a drink and uh, join me as I walk you through our renovation journey from five years back to the present day. As you can see, we are doing a little different type of video, not my typical weekly vlog this time. This video is part one of our journey, which mostly tackles our renovations. Part two will be fully dedicated to our gardening and landscaping. So I do not have a lot of video clips from back then, but I do have a fair amount of photos I can show to illustrate what was going on and we've also kept this uh, little diary with all of our most important milestones and renovations in here so let's jump right in first year's main goal was to get our bathroom ready because uh, this house didn't have a bathroom before. It did have a toilet so this one was like sorted through. Uh, only place you could wash yourself was in a sauna so I am so 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 thankful for my mother-in-law who lives next to us that she <laughs> let us use her shower uh, for a whole year basically so thank you so much. We started with sorting through all the stuff in the house and getting rid of the old furniture, spare tableware, uh, clothes, everything. Decluttering the house that spanned over months and months. In the end of September, we had our first like renovations, uh, which was actually uh, behind that wall is a room that was our previous bedroom. Um, and it was actually renovating or like painting over the walls of our bedroom to from this weird uh, like green weird green color to more soothing uh, grayish purple or like purplish color which made a huge huge difference or difference for us end of year we started tearing down our old hallway, pantry and toilet. We took down uh, the walls and tore up uh, all the flooring. So the New Year's Eve actually <laughs> was passed by wheeling out the soil that was under the floor and over like months it uh, we carried out all of the soil we carried in rubble and sand, uh, laid down styrofoam for insulation and also tubing for uh, like floor heating system we had uh, planned on building. And also to the bathroom side we laid down electric heating um, wiring inside the floor. On Valentine's Day we digged a trench for our new main cable for the house and uh, laid it down there. And the day before we took down the wall that was between the kitchen and the back room back then uh, to have more room. At the end of April we installed our big porch window. <laughs> this was highlight of the spring for us for some time just to hang out in the sun drink coffee and everything you could see outside the view got so much better because this house had like really really small windows before and we still have two we have to replace the two we have left so in may we finally finished uh, the floor for the hallway and bathroom area and like 
poured the concrete in May, in the end of May. Uh, on forward, we started working on the walls, uh, drywalled, waterproofed, and later on tiled them. Tip from us. Do not rely on the pictures you see of the tiles online. Definitely go check these tiles out in store physically because uh, it was a headache to get the right tiles that we wanted. We found so much like, oh, this is nice, this is nice, this is nice. But the real thing was when we went to the store, none of these were the it thing. We didn't like them physically when we saw them. The pictures were very deceiving. So I do recommend going and checking out uh, them in store. We had like a clear vision in our mind that we didn't want the typical typical bathroom looking bathroom. We were like thinking of having more like cozy looking one, more of the type that you see in spas for example. Uh, in the first year we didn't end up finishing the bathroom entirely so some tinkering carried on to uh, the second year right after hitting the one year mark of living here we had our very first shower in our brand new bathroom so <laughs> end of the year very nicely <laughs> This leads to us to our second year. In fall, we finished our bathroom and bought a new washing machine. Wanting the uh, cozy bathroom led us to choosing moisture-proof wallpaper for the two walls that didn't come into direct contact with water. A ledge in one wall was finished by putting like a, a wooden sill on top of it for uh, plants for my painting i airbrushed and we finished our uh, windowsill the same way so we built our own sink cabinet and floating shelves from like wood again when we first got it finished we just sat down in the bathroom and just took it all in enjoy just sitting on the floor and talking because it was such a big uh, milestone to finally have the bathroom that was just the way we wanted it so this was just a very happy moment for us in may we built ourselves a porch definitely not a mandatory thing at that point in time but honestly we figured that we just wanted to start enjoying our life and living in the countryside a bit more so we had like a place where we could unwind from time to time during summer we worked on our hallway so we built new walls uh, we also installed a new window and we tiled and crowded uh, the hallway floor too so this is now finished by the end of the second year we finally had ourselves fully functioning and ready bathroom and a patio or like a porch uh, so now we could just move on to working on the other floors left in the house third year and in October we did uh, wreck out our old wooden stove and the heat heated wall that comes with it the stove wasn't usable anymore because of the safety reasons. So we were left to face the winter with only one big furnace in the middle of the house and air conditioning. But bear in mind, back then, electricity prices were skyrocketing. So we didn't. We tried to use it as less as possible. Got used to the more cold temperatures inside and just pushed it through until the spring. Back in summer we ordered ourselves a new door, front door for our house, but because of the pandemic outbreaks in the factory we finally got it in December. We actually installed it the same weekend we got it. 
start of the year we began uh, prepping the kitchen floors for taking them all up we tore up the old linoleum and the OSP plates discovered a water leakage or like a water damage underneath in the corner where uh, old washing machine used to be had to move all of our kitchen to our living room which meant we were living in almost like a cramped studio apartment for half a year we got a new window that you can see in the background right now for our living room so now we had like both our windows replaced did our very first renovating in our brand new bathroom because we finally got ourselves a new water heater or like a boiler wanting to install there we had like other uh, ideas before to what type we will get later on we actually wanted to get like a flat one as flat as possible so we didn't have like a big bulky boiler up there we had to rearrange the pipes that came to and went from the boiler start of may we tore up the floorboards in the kitchen like fully and started to wheel out the soil again uh, and did the same as we did in the hallway and in the bathroom area rubble in uh, sand in styrofoam again film pipes <laughs> for the floor heating system steel reinforcements and beginning of september we poured the concrete now that the kitchen floors uh, were ready we could breathe a little more freely for some time or at least that's what we thought all was fine and dandy <laughs> until one morning I went to fix the fire and discovered there was a hole in the floor of the furnace the smoldering coals had fallen under the floors and thankfully i was able to discover them early enough so i was able to avoid the risk of fire <laughs> but that meant we were left to face the winter without any heating system in our house Electricity was still very expensive, so this wasn't an option. We had purchased um, a central heating stove back in September, but we weren't able to install it quite yet uh, because we didn't have the system for that and we didn't all have all the pipes in the floors. We started to take apart the old furnish. There was like three layers and we took apart one layer each evening one of her friends was like you know what i have a bullerian oven or a thing like that that he could lend to us so we had at least something to heat the house with but when we uh, took out all of the furnace we discovered that we have to take down the chimney too my husband did order module chimney uh, which is a great option because you can put it together all by yourself and November 30th we had first fire in the Bolarian with our new chimney spring came around and we managed to live through the winter with our quick makeshift uh, heating system <laughs> we started to work towards taking off like taking up all the other all the floors left and also started working on the second floor upstairs uh, cleaning that out too second floor was used for storing items just random stuff that didn't fit inside the house or where it was actually meant for throwing away but nobody did so we started to clean that out. Most of the work was very dusty because there was a lot of like dried out brittle hay and also soil. So it was like a dry soil and dry hay mixture 
we shoveled out and had to wear uh, had to wear like masks and respirators to protect our uh, lungs from all of the dust there was. So we had already moved the kitchen things back to the kitchen. We moved our wardrobe uh, to the hallway. We moved our couch to behold in the garage. I had already packed up all of the things we had left on the shelves uh, to like boxes and uh, transported them all uh, to the garage too. Uh, we also built up the north facing corner of our house because uh, the logs there were in a very, very bad uh, condition. When the weather got warm enough, we moved our sleeping area upstairs. I put up our tent in there, we moved our mattress and bedding in there. We opt for a tent uh, to protect ourselves from mosquitoes and like other crawling creatures. And our summer long sleeping in a tent on our second floor started. <laughs> All of this to have enough room uh, to work on this side of the house downstairs. Had to do this side bit by bit because this wall behind me right now is a load bearing wall. Decades ago somebody had uh, taken out all the load bearing walls and here uh, it was replaced like a few beams were still here. Uh, but it wasn't holding a lot, so uh, the ceilings were actually tilted this way. Uh, so we had to build up new load-bearing walls, but the one we had here we had to keep. We started with clearing out the soil from the bedroom side of the floor. Also carried in uh, the rubble. Uh, then we moved the load-bearing wall to the rubble. And then we took out all of the soil from the living room side also carried in rubble, sand, uh, styrofoam, everything like we did the <laughs> already twice before. We basically concreted the living room side first uh, in, August, in the end of August and then a week later when uh, the concrete had cured enough we moved the load bearing wall to rest on the concrete and finished up the previous bedroom side of the floor too. So now we had all of our floors finally concreted. No more carrying out soil, no more dealing with uh, rubble and everything like that. So we could finally be like, finally the biggest, one of the biggest things was finally finished. And this leads us to the fifth and current year. Floors finally concreted. We were so eager to start building the walls up again. Started with the one behind me, the load bearing wall uh, between living room and past bedroom that will actually become my office in the future. Had to check up the house a lot to get it to level out. Later on my husband built like a new uh, load bearing wall to the kitchen too. So I have like a normal sized kitchen now and I have a pantry. So we built up a load bearing wall that carries uh, the ceiling beams and is one half of the pantry. And then we built another wall for the pantry. Also built like new side walls for uh, the living room and back room area where the central heating oven, oven goes. Found the perfect decorative stone tiles for the uh, big, like for the decorative wall that is <laughs> behind our central heating stove. Both of us separately looking in our phones for the perfect decorative stone plates we would like and clicking on the exact same one at the exact same time so this is like a story how we chose <laughs> the decorative stone slabs there by just both separately choosing the same one started uh, tiling the 
let's walk with this. Decided that we wanted to tile the floor. Just randomly tried out the same tiles we already had in our hallway in and our bathroom. We didn't have enough of this left to tile the whole kitchen. We started out with tiling only the part where the central heating stove goes because we needed to install it already. We were like, okay, we need more tiles like that. So we looked it up online and they still sold the same plates as four years ago, which was kind of a miracle that they were still continued, the same tiles. Four years later, some things have changed. So there are color differences in those tiles. We collected a lot of the things we needed for our central heating system and we were finally able to hook up this system. So 13th January this year we had first fire going in our brand new central heating stove. It's so much better with that system. Uh, house is nice and warm, it stays warm for much longer time than it did before. Yeah, it would definitely be easier to start in a new house that doesn't need renovations, just it's built ready and you move in and everything is just the way you want it to be. But we feel like we are very happy. It's hard. It's hard work to renovate a ho like an old house, but at the same time, we don't regret it because the stories that come with it, the stories that we build, the memories that we build, it's like building a stronger bond between us and our home. So I, did, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, next up we'll, in this series will be a recap of our garden and landscaping. So this will be part two and Otherwise, the first, yeah, next, like the next video will be another weekly vlog, so I will see you there, or whichever video to you decide to click on next. So I'll try to keep you updated. Meanwhile, you can go follow my Instagram uh, <clears throat> uh, because I post. If we do something, the first place you will see our new. Uh, Accomplish accomplishments, new milestones, everything will be up there. Uh, I do try to uh, share everything like that to my stories. So, thank you for being here and I will see you in my next video. So, bye!